Hey everybody, it's Kim, and I'm on with the Timu Hall, and a community alert. <laughs> anyway, something happened to me starting, well, it's been going on for a week, but the culmination of it started yesterday evening, and I have had a rough couple of days. So, but I want to share my Timu Hall, because coming on here makes me happy, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll get into what happened. Oh my gosh, and I don't know if... Timu is part to believe. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know what to believe, what who to trust. Anywho, here is this stamp set. Isn't she cute? Always look at the bread. She's picking um, apples. I don't know if you can. Let me look. I can't see when I'm sitting down very good. Stamp timber. There's. What is that? Hot cider. So I got that one. But yeah, I um, have been getting a call, and I should know better. And I'm putting this out there because it has been pointed out to me that people over 60 are being targeted for um, hacking scams. And that's what happened to me. I lost a lot of money. Not all my retirement money, just a padding that I had in my savings account. And to be honest, I feel kind of stupid. I'm mad at myself for not thinking it through better, but, you know, whatever. I got a text while I was at the kids, and I, Vienna was sick, and I was distracted, but this guy would, and said, have you with, done a withdrawal through Walmart for bloody blah, blah, blah amount? And I texted back, no. And it said my credit union's number on it. These are stencils. All that. So it made me believe it. If they started, they're very good. So, where's the stencils? I should have done a picture of what they look like. And so, the guy then immediately, and then they texted me and I, they said, well, we've got to get it off their cell phone. They're into your account. What's your password? And that's... Don't do that. I talked to my financial gal today, and she said over a billion dollars of people over 60 have been, I think this quarter, not even this year, have been scammed. And I'm now part of that club, I guess. So, I texted it back. And then they kept calling me, this one guy, and I said to him at one point, I said, I am taking care of a sick granddaughter. I do not have time for this. This is very important, ma'am. This is very important. You need to, you know. So, and he's telling me, don't get into your account, bloody blah. And he called off and on for the last week or so. And I called the bank about this and canceled my debit card. I said, I think something's going on. Okay. Should that be enough? Yes. Well, I kept getting calls, and he called back and go, oh, good news, you can get into your account before blah blah date. Well, that's because he would have been done with what he was doing. Oh, my God, you guys. So, they emptied my account, my savings. So, I went this morning, and it's, it's a big amount. I'm not going to get into how much, but, you know, I've got about a used car with it. Let's put it that way. We're going on a nice, couple of nice trips. So, anywho. Yeah. Now, my bank lady said, do not be on Timu. Or you do, you do Timu. And I said, yes, I love Timu. She said, oh boy. And I said, well, I don't know. I've never had a problem before. This was through, I, I don't use my bank account for Timu. She also doesn't like PayPal, which I've... So give me your advice below. Are you getting any weird calls? Or not advice, but just, you know. What do you guys think? Is Timu, is that something we need to quit? I will miss. I was like, you got to be kidding me. i got to give up Timu. Um, that always, the um, then I talked to my financial gal, and she was saying, always use a credit card. Never your debit online. And looking it up, anything online is dangerous no matter you have to be really careful and really watch your account so okay so there's this paper i don't mean to bring everybody down but you guys are my buddies i knew i could come here and tell you i just i can't believe 
that I am that elderly person that they target. I don't think of myself as elderly, but, you know, I'm getting up there. And she said, if people, oops, they see that you're retired and over 60 and they target you. So if you're retired and over 60, be careful because they're coming after you, I guess. I don't know. It's just like, oh, my God, I just felt so stupid. All right, here's key dies. I'm not my usual happy self, but, you know, I went out to my trailer for a little bit. It just wasn't working. <laughs> One and a half inches long. They're pretty small. They're smaller than, of course, I thought they would be. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. God knows I have enough from Timu, but anyway, I've got a few orders coming, so I'm not going to cancel my, you know, my my membership until at least until four and a quarter by three and a half maybe three and a quarter mm, cute until i get all my orders i don't, know. I don't want to get out that money oh i tell you i don't know this one is cute it is a baking it's got the word bake and you get the little flipper thing the roller cookies and a cookie tray i keep doing the four inches the cookie tray is by uh, two and a half. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just really bummed. I just, like I said, I feel... It was because of the text that I believed it. It even said, had the heading of my, at the top, you know, did you and the please respond, blah de blah It threw me off and being distracted by my granddaughter. She had just thrown up. I was trying to get her taken care of. And yeah, so just putting it out there. Be careful. So I got these purple pins from a purple friend for her Christmas. I just thought these were really... I might keep one for myself and give her the others, but she loves purple. I've gotten her the purple staples. I mean, she loves purple. So, And I got this iron-on because I thought I could never find a sweatshirt and I don't want polyester. So I bought the decal, and then I was at Hobby Lobby, and I got, hang up, because you have to see if you can't understand a white sweatshirt unless I show it to you. Anyway, I just washed it, so I just need to iron Santa on him, on it. Let me cute. There's my jolly Santa. So I thought white would be best if pink would, it would just blend in too much, maybe? I don't know. So that's what I'll do. Then I got the girls some shirts. This one, I think, is... I, let me look at it. But I think this is the one that I got for Tori. Because she has the curliest hair. Oh, my gosh. So cute. Yes. And it says, wild like my curls. Cute. So I thought that was sweet. And then I got them. We'll all be together in December. So I thought it would be fun to have them all in their matching T-shirts. So two of the girls, I think I got, yeah, two of the girls I got this one for, the older girls. Cute. And this is cotton. I like that. The wild is my curls. And, and this one, I think, I mean, this is size 100. Really? 100% <laughs> cotton, though. What's size 100? I think this one is for Vienna. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. So they'll have their matching and then another one for Emma. So I did that. And then for Vienna, she takes, I don't know, two-year-olds don't like to leave their shoes or socks on. But I thought it gets so cold over there. So I just got her these and they're footless. So I thought those would be nice for her. I've already, like I, I think I've said, I've shopped for them, but you know, I'll keep... I'll keep going. Can't avoid, can't miss out on doing my girlies. So, and then this is some just filler sequence type poinsettia, holly, and little circles. I don't remember how much everything cost. I'm kind of in an off mood. I will list stuff below by load, <laughs> by package. Yeah. That, that has really thrown me for a loop the last couple of days, and I just, like I said, I just feel like 
That little old lady that fell for a scam. I didn't think of myself as that person, but I am. Uh, anyway, this has little paper cutouts. Like, I went and die cut, and this says, Merry Christmas. Isn't that pretty? And then a bunch of, as you can see, little, um, let's see how big they are. I'm going to sit down. Yeah. One and a quarter inches long. I just thought they were cute. Good little filler. And then these little dudes, little candy canes. Why not? You can never have too many candy canes. Yes, you can. One inch. So I got those. And then this is off of Allie. And this, I can... She, I did ask her about Allie, the banker. And she said, I haven't heard any problems with Allie from any of my customers. I said, oh, okay. I think they're all... China, I guess I've read up on it today. I've known this has been a worry, but I've never had any problems. So, lesson learned as far as giving out my information. My God. Anyway, these are from Allie. Sharon on Craft Eccentricity shared these, and I can't get it open. Hang on. So, yeah, I guess my son was saying at his work, it's just rampant. They're saying they're being told not to open any emails, to ask the company first before they open that. It's really bad. Ugh. It's just discouraging sometimes. This world is a little, little crazy. I'm getting a little discouraged sometimes. Okay. Emma, though, I feel really bad because I went over there. I was crying. It, like I said, it's a significant amount of money, and I just was upset. Well, Emma was there, and she's never seen me cry. He's pretty. And she goes, I can give you my money out of my piggy bank. Is that not the sweetest? Oh, my God. I go, oh, sweetheart, I have enough money. And then later she said, I hope that man goes to hell. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, I love you. She, I felt really bad because it really, really upset her. Oh, sorry. Did I say how long? This is about two, two and a quarter inches wide. But look, it looks like a film strip. Almost, you know. So, <clears throat> and then she called me last night before she went to bed to check on me. Yeah. My youngest son, however, says, well... Why would they pick on a little old late retired lady? And I go, stop yourself. And God darn, he's right. They pick on me. I'm a little old retired lady. Good God, Gert. So I like my financial gal said, well, now she goes, you just have to be very vigilant. Question everything. Call them. You know, don't answer any numbers you don't know. And uh, it's just like, oh, my God. So I contacted Social Security. Now they called me back. It took him two hours. Now, was he the right guy? You don't know anymore. I'm so scared. It's like, oh, my God. Anyway. So I have to send, I had to open a new bank account. I had to call my landlady and tell her it might not go through if it doesn't, because I don't have checks right now. To let me know, and I will get a money. It's just like I had to get a whole Social Security, all kinds of. Jeez. Okay, this one is butterflies. Gorgeous. And you get enough on there to last the rest of my lifetime, anyway. Because I am a little lady. <laughs> God. And I should share with this. Sue Ellen sent my girls and I some goodies, so I'll send, do that next. Thank you, Sue Ellen. I already emailed her because I got it yesterday, and I meant to tell her thank you, and then life kind of went poof. And I don't know. Has anybody else been hacked, and do they think maybe it's because of Timu? I just don't know. I don't. I guess they have big office buildings, these hackers, in other countries. And uh, he was quite insistent that, you know, as I, at one point I said, I have a two-year-old on a changing table right now. I can't talk about this. And it kept breaking off. And, oh, my God. 
But this is so important, ma'am. Yeah, to you it is. So, anyway, be careful, guys, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Don't do what I... Oh, oh, I see. I cut this one by mistake. Damn it. Oh, no, I ruined it, I think. Look at that. Well, that goes right along with my day. Okay. I cut it in the wrong spot, and it split it open. Okay, but that one's wildflowers. It's on Alley. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is just not a very good day. Oh, my lord. Okay. Now, did I show this one? I did the birds. Okay. One more thing, and then I'll show what's sweet to Ellen shared. Hang in there. And then tomorrow I do my drawing, so make sure you comment on my one giveaway video before tomorrow. Because that's the day. I am not broke. It's not going to impact me that much. It's just... You know, Emma goes, and I, my son thought that I meant I had no, he goes, we got to get to the bank, you know, he thought it was all my money they had. I said, no, 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 no. Poor guy probably had visions of me living with him or so <laughs> for the rest of my life. <laughs> I go to God, no. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, here it is. So this is another one that kind of went. Kapooey. Isn't that pretty, though? That one doesn't. So, yeah. Those are on Alley. Okay. I'll put this away in a minute. But Sue Ellen, she is such a sweetheart, sent me... I don't know if I have it over here. I wasn't prepared here. This is like the world's worst. She sent some crayons for Vienna. So, anyway, but she made each of the girls and myself. So she made each of the girls, Emma and Tori, pen, beaded pens. <gasps> so pretty. I, and, you know, she knows Emma's into <laughs> the skulls. And here's Tori. He's going to love this. Oh, my gosh. These are so sweet. And then for me, a pokey tool. Look at this gorgeousness. Oh, my gosh. Let me take it out of the... So thank you, Sue Ellen. That is so sweet of you. And she even labeled them. And Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. Oh, fumble fingers. It's one of those days. You know where you have those days where it's just nothing goes right? Well, this is it. This is it, I tell you. Hang on. Okay, there it is. Isn't this gorgeous? And she put Kim on it. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Thank you, Sue Ellen. Well, thank you guys for listening. She did. She wrote me a little note too. So Sue Ellen, you're so sweet. And then we've been conversing with on email. All right, guys, take care. Just be cautious. Don't let anybody rip you off. Use me if anything can happen. It happens to me, but just be careful. Don't be that over 60-year little old retired lady. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.